so it took a while to get here, but this is Castrovalva. Shall I walk around? Well, just she's no, 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 in a Castrovalva, in a Castrovalva style, if I keep walking round and round and appear in the same place, that will be like Castrovalva, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> So it's, <laughs> so it's taken as like, I mean, yeah, like I said, two, two, epi two and a half episodes, to be fair. I've just bombed about the TARDIS. Why? When we could have been here on this amazing set with this brilliant guest cast, with this just, it doesn't feel like any other Doctor Who story. Uh, maybe if I'm stretching something like the Mind Robber. Uh, but, but just absolutely brilliant. The, 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 Dialogue is absolutely sublime. I totally buy into these characters all straight away. Castrovalva seems ace up until the point you realise it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I probably would as well. Um, this is just class. And why? Why did it take so long to get hit? Let's not worry about that. Let's just focus on the positives. So we still had a bit of faffing about. It might be because you know all the stuff on the TARDIS when they were going through all the different rooms and sort of running around trying to find the Doctor. Yes. They've sort of just done that again, haven't they? So there's a symmetry, like running around trying to find out where they're going and where they are. Up and down the stairs. And, and that is the theme, isn't it? It's, it's running around and yeah. repeating on yourself. Sure and so, yeah. Wow. Uh, recurse for collusion. How do you find that sort of... This thing we've mentioned in the first episode turns out to be a major thing coming on. If Bidmead had planned this better, he'd obviously have dropped the concept of recursive occlusion, you know, way back in Warrior's Gate or something. And then that would make sense, but he's catching up with himself a little bit now. Now, this is class. Catching up with himself. Ha <laughs> ha. This is class. This is absolutely class. And this new Doctor, and we're getting increasing glimpses. I love it. Can, can you remember, Lib? You're not in camera, so you don't have to worry. Did Tom ever talk to a child? Ever? head but I feel like he may have done but I don't know is the answer. so I like when the doctor talks to children because I think it works but it just it there's something about that moment for me with Davison that just sort of points a little direction as to where his doctor's going what in a pizza bar <laughs> Elizabeth where's the doctor going I don't know what you mean direction. his character in so much as he's willing to listen to other people which is not necessarily something that Tom was willing to do as a doctor. So, sort of, he takes in, he's willing to hear other people's opinions and man, maybe that's a flaw. Maybe he's too influenced by other people, but he listens to this kid and he's like, oh yeah, that's how you count, sweet. Um, and then obviously it's the launch pad to remember an Adric, but I think that might be a little pointer, a little, a little sign of where this doctor might be going. But yeah, what a brilliant episode of Doctor Who. Um, absolutely superb. Yes, 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 yes.